Hello everyone, Dan 14th Prime here. I want to do a video share out today with you guys on the Hot Toys Justice League Batman. This is probably going to be our final Ben Affleck Batman figure. And Hot Toys timed it perfectly by waiting until the last figure to give us finally the Ben Affleck head sculpt. And I will say it looks fantastic. This Justice League look, it's got a leaner, meaner Ben. Comes off looking a bit sort of taller and just not as big and bulky. But we'll get some other figures out here for comparison. If you're interested in seeing the unboxing of this figure, and it is the deluxe version that we'll be reviewing today, check me out on Instagram, same handle, Dan14Prime. I've got pictures out there of the box and all the layering through the trays of what you'll see from the accessories all the way packed out. And if you're interested in picking up this Hot Toys Batman figure, check the link down in the description below. I'll jump you out to Sideshow. Definitely check out all the pro picks. Check on the availability and pricing and get your order in. Any shopping you do through those links supports the channel at no cost to you, and I do very much appreciate that. I did mention that this is the deluxe version, which basically means you get everything you need to actually complete your tactical suit version, including the alien blaster rifle, a hand for that to hold it, and of course, the parademon diorama base. These accessories work fantastic with tactical suit. You'll find a picture out on Instagram of my Justice League display using tactical suit Batman in this setup as the centerpiece, so be sure to check that out. Let's go ahead and jump in on this figure and start off with the head sculpt. For me, having already many, many Batman figures and other collectibles, including statues, this is one of the main reasons why I even bothered to pick this additional figure up. Basically, the head sculpt and again, the deluxe accessories are what caused me to ultimately pull the trigger. This Ben Affleck head sculpt, I think, is very, very good. I think the sculpt is excellent. They do a nice job with the skin tone as well. Hot Toys can often make the figures a bit too dark, but this looks really good for Ben Affleck. I think the eyes look like money. You know, they probably make him look a bit younger. Uh, there's just not as much gray you can see there, kind of coming through the, the side of the hair. He's got a bit of five o'clock shadow, and he does have, you know, a bit of age in the sculpt. When you look around the eyes, the corner of the eyes, you see a, a bit of crow's feet. It's not maybe as pronounced as it could be. And frankly, I think this side over here, his left side, corner of the eye, uh, it's etched in a bit deeper there. Um, so some signs of age, but overall looking probably a bit younger. Always amazes me how well they do the ears. We take it for granted, but just the anatomy of the ear sculpt is always phenomenal. And he does lightly have, you know, the Ben Affleck uh, sort of beauty mark there. Though again, maybe they temper that a bit versus what it is, but... Overall, pretty dang happy with this head sculpt. I mentioned the build of the figure is different. Feels a bit taller, just leaner and meaner, more stretched out. And you see that here in comparison to the BVS figure. Just not as bulky top to bottom, whether it be legs, torsos, neck, all of that has been slimmed out. And frankly, I think he looks more like he does in real life and in the movie here with the new Justice League figure. And it definitely does pick up some height. I think it looks more pronounced um, on the video here than in real life, but definitely... When you start to go belt up, it's just like some length through the torso and through the neck, I think, gets them a bit more stretched out and taller. Uh, this BVS figure, by the way, custom cape from Jackson. I have seen on his Instagram some sweet modifications to this Just a League figure where he padded it out a bit more, made it bulkier, and it looks uh, really, really cool. So you might want to check that out. I will say overall for me, though, just being a Batman fan and not necessarily too worried about movie precision uh, from Hot Toys for this character, I still like BVS. I like the bigger, bulkier, chunkier... Uh, Batman figure, and I like my custom cape on it too. So happy to have both, and I think it just depends on what you like. If you want as tight of a movie-accurate figure as, as possible, I think it does make some improvements in that direction. But if you just want a great Batman cowled representation, I still do love that look at the BVS figure there. Just a big, hawking, menacing Batman. Okay, let's shift now and take a look at the figure, and apologize if you notice a difference in the audio. The rest of my video just dropped all the audio, so I'm voicing over to complete the video. We got a top half shot here of the figure. Uh, looks fantastic. You know, the suit is definitely darker, as you saw, versus BVS. They improved the chest and the bat insignia and the spacing relative to, you know, the neck and uh, the cape, the tip of the cape there. Still got a muscular body. You can see the six-pack abs sort of molded in the suit. Still big shoulders, things like that, but just not super, super bulky. There's a fine detail over the suit. It's got almost like this sort of roped sections off uh, the way they detail across it and a very fine cross pattern in the suit. Same as before, um, but just pointing it out. In the cape there, you see sort of does this little fold over as it did with tactical suit. 
uh, but it does have a little magnet tab right there on the end that attaches to like the center of that collarbone clavicle area. In the belt, um, you know, pretty standard, I think. It's got the gold on it, the worn look, maybe slightly brighter than what we saw with Tactical Suit. Taking a look at the lower half of the figure here, again, you can see it looks good. Slenderer build, as we had mentioned. You can see the suit still with these fine roped sections of detail across it. He's got a couple of knee pads there underneath the knee. The big black boots, still gold tipped on the end, though I'd say uh, much darker probably and a little bit tougher to see. That fine texture all the way through. Uh, the cape here, nice material like Tactical Suit was. It's thicker, it's heavier. It tends to like to just stack up on the ground though. It's a bit longer. They could have made it maybe shorter or it just needs to be a bit of a lighter material probably just to help it flow really and drape down onto the back of the ground. You'll find yourself always needing to kind of come underneath it and sort of bend it a little bit and get that U-shape on the back of the heel so it flows onto the ground and rolls like that, if you will, versus just stacking up. Profile shot of the figure here. You can see still good musculature, especially when you look kind of through that torso. There's definitely some muscles there uh, through the core section. Still got some big shoulders and arms going on there. You see the typical gold coming off the back end flare of the gauntlets. I'll just pick his cape up here out of the way so you can take a look at the overall figure. Check out the back of the figure. He's got the big zipper going up the back. Same as before. You can check out those gauntlets a little closer. Look pretty cool. It's got the gold accents, you know, the gold across the knuckles as well. It's got the strap effect going on uh, that you see coming across the top. And if I just pull his arm back out of the way, just to give you a full view of the torso there. Again, you can see pretty muscular core coming through. He's got a seam uh, coming up straight up his side there. Um, but that's not a big deal. It hides away pretty well, I think. And lower leg profile here. Again, nice looking bat suit. Get the cape out of the way a bit. You can see the build of the legs. It's got the big black boot, the gold toe. Got some gold accents coming off of the back of the heel there as well. And around back of the figure, I mean, this is the look if you just drop the figure down. This is what I'm talking about with the cape really being kind of stiff and it just sort of stacks up in the back and doesn't really drape very well. So you really have to manage this and work with it a bit when you pose the figure and put it on display. Again, if you come around and you just sort of pull on it and try to pull it back and get it to lay on the ground and sort of flow behind the figure, you can get it to look nice. Just take some finagling. With the deluxe version of this figure, you get the Parademon base and the Alien Blaster gun. And again, these probably should have come with Tactical Suit Batman. They look beautiful with him. So this is how I have him up on display in my Justice League setup, and I think it looks awesome. So really happy to have these accessories. If we go in closer on the diagram display base, it's got the Batman nameplate. Could have lived without that. I would have just preferred it be a dis diorama display uh, and not be so specific to Batman. But that's a nit. I think the Parademon uh, looks good. It's not great, it's not terrible, it's sort of in the middle somewhere, decent amount of detail, probably a better sculpt than paint application. Uh, you get a pretty standard crotch grabber that just plugs right in there. Again, he's kind of got this buried under rubble effect. You basically get the whole upper half of the parademon, and then the legs start to sort of look like they're in the ground. And he's got some rocks on top of him a bit too by the, the pole. Next up here we have the alien blaster rifle. This is just an awesome accessory. I think the sculpt is fantastic, um, painted very, very well. Silver, black, gunmetal is sort of the base of it. You see sort of the copper and the blue or purple highlights going through it. Really looks good, just to like a lot of intricate detail through there to make it look like a high-tech alien weapon. I think they really pull this through very well. Top of the gun there, you can see some of the burn effect there on the back, some nice accenting detail. Take a look at the back there. So very cool rifle here. Works great with tactical suit. Also, you get here a pair of hands uh, that will work with the rifle. I've got the right one here, and I've just pulled this off, and basically it works with your tactical suit Batman as well. And probably the last unique cool accessory to this figure is this kind of arm screen display that shows you know, like the schematic of some buildings and also some, some white dots for like some location indicators. But kind of like the typical, you know, bat sonar radar map that he would pull up on his uh, bat suit and this is magnetized to his right arm so you can just 
plop it right there on the gauntlet and it sticks. Now the directions show it going this way, but it doesn't quite work and the magnets are flipped around. So plus it would be upside down in the schematic. So believe that goes that way. Okay, next up here, let's take a look at the Batman cow. So first we just wanna pop off the Ben Affleck head sculpt there. Uh, the cape just flips off and there's that little magnetized piece that I had mentioned. And there's a Velcro around the back as well. And then here you get this kind of shoulder section piece that just snaps in there, helps kind of create the, the shoulder look for the Affleck head sculpt. Plug in the head post for the, the cowl. And then of course the cape comes back over the top. A little magnet there as well. And then the cowl comes over the top of the cape. And you just want to feed the cape underneath and it gets a little bit of a fold just over the edge of the cowl there for a nice finish. And that is it. So here we have the Batman cowed look. He comes with three sets of swap out face plates. So you see sort of the, the more chill look there. Uh, this here magnetizes in and it's his more aggressive look. You get more teeth. All these face plates I think look really good. I think just the sculpt uh, through the chin and around the mouth and then the effect of the teeth all very well done. Um, I will say pretty consistent with you know things we've seen before on Batman Hot Toys figures. So here you've got the other one. It's sort of middle of the road, you know, sort of slightly open mouth, a little bit of teeth showing. As we've seen before, the figure also comes with swap out eye plates. Uh, you basically get a set that looks forward, a set that looks to his right, and a set that looks to his left. And these all swap out using this same tool where you go underneath the cowl and just sort of use the tool to guide it up and in and plug it behind the eye socket. I won't spend a lot of time here, but we're getting the recurring standard pack out of, of grapple guns here uh, with different shooting effects uh, to go onto the tips of the guns, you know, different ends for them. Uh, three batter rings, of course, some wrist pegs, and then this, this piece for the eye post, which I had just been showing you. You get eight total hands with the figures, two sort of relaxed hands, which are on the figure, a pair of fists here, uh, the batter ring holding hand with a little pinch grip on it. You get a hand to hold the, the grapple gun there with sort of the split finger open hand grip. And then you get a pair of these as well. One was on the tactical suit, but this will hold the alien rifle left and right hand of each of those. I'll get you a close look at the hands here. They should look familiar from what we've seen in the past. You know, the black glove with the gold knuckles accented on there. You come to the inside, you get sort of some nice sort of tread effect through there on the inside of the glove. Uh, so some nice detail, pretty basic, but looks like a nice leather back glove. So I'll hit some of the highlights on articulation here. I think the instructions do a good job of showing you what it can do. Uh, generally, you're kind of in the 70 to 90 degree range for all the different limbs. See the arm come up pretty nice there. Um, straight up from the side and also front and back as well. So I think the articulation overall is improved from, from prior Batman and Bat suits. See the elbow there, again, about 90 degrees. So all pretty functional, not outstanding. Of course, you get you know some of the usual roll in the shoulder. You actually get a bit of waist twist here. It's slight uh, because it's uh, still pretty padded, but you get a bit of crunch and a bit of lean back as well. So probably better than prior Batman, but not outstanding by any means. The legs work pretty well. There's a nice clicking uh, ratchet, if you will, in there. Uh, you just want to watch the seam on the inside of the pants. I think the legs come up pretty well, too. And again, that sort of clicking hip joint helps quite a bit. There you've got the knee pretty solid there as well. Little little twist up there in the hip as usual, and you know, kind of just ball joint down there on the ankle. So there you have it, guys. Justice League Batman uh, Deluxe version. Sorry if some of these poses suck. Just trying to demonstrate some of that articulation looks like he's surfing here but very nice batman figure again i think if you have hot toys batman figures uh, this one's still worth picking up because of the affleck head sculpt and particularly the deluxe accessories if you don't yet have a hot toys batman i think this one's a no-brainer it really is uh, very nice and has a very good pack out and again both the head sculpt something we really haven't gotten in the many many versions prior to it and i will give the nod to this figure in terms of improvements to movie 
accuracy and, and more Ben Affleck realism in terms of the body and the suit and things like that, it definitely makes some strides forward there. So if you're interested in picking them up, again, check the link down in the description below. Any shopping at those links supports the channel at no cost to you, and I do very much appreciate that. You'll also find my Instagram page down there, my Amazon page, etc. So be sure to check all of that out. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this Hot Toys video share out of the Batman Justice League. I will see you next time.